KSW. David Tell, Jim Norton, Bill Burr, Charlie in Port Orchard, you're on the rock. Go ahead. Hey! 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 hey. So, before I ask my question, I just want to say, Port Orchard and Everett, in the time it took to wait... But my question's for God. Dave. What the hell did that mean? Sure, go ahead, oh, he man. drove that far? He's oh, crying man. about it. Are you crying that I put the <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, yeah. Charlie. Oh, not, no. uh, Why would you cry? Right. Why <laughs> would you start people, off bitching? People right. that complain about having to wait on the phone because other people are on the phone ahead of them, I have no tolerance well, for Well, the okay. scary thing, I don't know if you uh, or, uh, heard what I heard, but there's like planes taking off and, and whatever. He's like definitely uh, like flagging it. I think he works like baggage handling. <laughs> something like that. I like how he just cooked his brain for no reason on the cell phone. <laughs> For like, I don't want to let you know. Yeah. I don't appreciate you having a hit radio show with a bunch of listeners calling in. <laughs> Call in the AM radio. You could yeah. walk to out to your mailbox. You'll get on. This is not your aunt's phone number. <laughs> All right, Ron in Renton. I, I do hope you uh, took a, some advice from that last caller and just get right to Portland what you want to say. Portland to Seattle, just yeah. saying. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ron. Get the fucking damn phone in. Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, I just want to say hi, Jim, Dave, hi. Bill, and the Jim that's missing. But uh, I have a joke for you guys. Oh, cool. Oh, good. Nothing uh, makes us happier good. than when an audience member tells us a joke. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get my tablet out. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. I well, like I, how Dave actually did it on yeah, his hand. On his hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are videoing it. So I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that was okay. awesome. yeah, that was basic cable did... background. All right, let's hear the joke. <laughs> okay, why did the chicken not cross the road? Why, sir? Because he saw what happened to the possum. Splat! Mm. I didn't, and you did, include did you... a frog on that. We missed the what, punchline. What, what did you say, brother? The, your phone crapped out. Oh, uh, because he saw what happened. We to heard the you! <laughs> You know what I like? I like good, clean, wholesome comedy. Yeah. I like the kind of joke I can tell at a Cracker Barrel, and we found it right there. All right. If they ever need a warm-up guy for, uh, so you think you're smarter than a fifth grader, we've got you. This is it. All right. I, oh, that's great. Now, guys, uh, what great timing. Yeah. I, look, here's the thing. He is an aspiring comic, and he asked us if he could do some material in front of you. Sure. Well, uh, and this is Nick, by the way. I'm on and, Nick right over there. Hi, How's it going, and, guys? Uh, How you doing? I, I, uh, you know, like you said, Jim, who loves this more than anybody? Nobody. Yeah. But um, I like I, how if you didn't get if you didn't get the punchline, he actually explained it with the splat. Of course, <laughs> that was my favorite part. I'm sorry, interrupted. Good, but. Uh, <laughs> I, I hate I, when a guy brings his weekend dad jokes yeah. to the show. You know, like his one day with the kids. Hey, I'm a fun dad. Uh, why did the chicken not? It, it does. Yeah. You know, it is. It does. It gets me a little angry because people will say the same thing to us. They'll, they'll be like, "Oh, you guys just talk, right? There's nothing that goes into that." You know, and you just go, "Really? Honestly, yeah. you think that there that you can you you knucklehead can come out here and really do this job like with you guys? Like you know, all the crap you have to go through to pretty much get where you guys are. And these guys go, "Oh, what do you do? You do nothing, right?" We should really call this tour the 110 percent tour. Am I right or wrong, guys? Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. we really leave it all on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sad thing is that guy already has to deal with comedy. Center. So I really think that's Bragg and calling in after the that, deal. Oh, God, that would be... Man, there's, there's some truth in that. So you're a comic, Nick? He wants to be. Okay. Aspiring, yes. Have you ever done stand-up so, on stage? I have not. Okay. Okay, well, you're not going to wear those shorts up there, are you? No. Honestly. All right, cool. I could, though. It's not about... Do you guys remember... I don't know if you saw, but back in the day, Goldthwait used to go up with shorts like that? Yeah, that, that was weird, wasn't yeah, it? That was, <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I remember that. That was some disturbing stuff. That, that guy loves weird calves, mode. doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I love calves. Man's calves. <laughs> Go All right, then. so uh, so Nick, you, you want to you, uh, just do a couple, okay? Okay, I got a couple here. Because I'm you. embarrassed, but I mean, I don't want to crush. Right, give him dreams. a shot. Come on, BJ. I know. I mean, let's, right. let's not crush his dream here. Rule of three. Let's hear him. All right, so you guys hear that uh, Transformers is in theaters this weekend? Yeah, I saw some advertising for that yesterday. <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, in a recent interview, Shia LaBeouf said that he and his former Transformers co-star Megan Fox shared a mu- uh, mutual attraction. It turned out that they were both attracted to. Bad scripts. <laughs> I like it. But you also, know what? <laughs> I like it. You're, yes. doing, you're doing like Thanks, mono, monologue jokes. Do a uh, Jay Leno. On the way to the radio, uh, Jim Shy LaBeouf'd in the uh, in the van. It was horrible. You opened the window. Yeah. I was like, close the window. I'm going to catch my death outside. i get some wet wipes. <laughs> you guys that remember my space? I, th- I think you should write for uh, a late night show. Yes. Oh, hey, did you guys uh, see that uh, the Transformers is in the news? <laughs> oh, don't kill a dream, Bill. Come on. Yes, tra- uh, go ahead. Yes. You, one, Nick? Yeah. Yeah. you guys remember that? Uh, you guys remember MySpace? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it was sold for $35 million to a digital media company. 
To get the word out as quickly as possible, the CEO of MySpace posted the news on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That wasn't okay, bad. I, would, I, I would like recommend that one, right? not <laughs> technology. That's good. I kind of saw it coming, but it was still a good joke. Do you I think, think it's wow. the dramatic pause right before he says... <laughs> yeah, because you kind of posted like... it on... <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> yeah. He's actually gonna he's gonna post it on Facebook. I Just thought it was good. Make it more conversational. Facebook. Yeah. Like you're drinking a boiler maker at hey guys, Purdue University. This isn't the voice, all right? Take down all the judgmentalness. All right? <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <laughs> wow. We're helping him out. We, we got we living a right. dream. You know? If you can't handle right. this, Last an one. audience will kill him. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. So this morning I was reading a story in the news about how AIDS <laughs> drugs can cause premature aging. Mm. Premature aging. And yet somehow, Magic Johnson continues to look like a chubby toddler. All right, we'll get back to you. Send us a tape. Uh, you know, Jesus, Nick. Well, thank father, you, guys. Stop, you gotta First of all, pausing. Father, that's good. Stop pausing. Yeah, you had to pause and kill that one. Exactly. Right. Right. You should, it's actually he looks better. like... Does he, a chubby <laughs> toddler. <laughs> and know, now you know the magic, rest of the joke. That's the thing I'm Paul Harvey. Paul Harvey. Good day. <laughs> Turn the page. No, but the, he's kind of like a modern day Stephen Wright, though, isn't he? I mean, kind of no, weird. No, he no he's not. No, he's not. Okay. Nothing like Stephen not Wright. Even, other than they have both have feet and hands. <laughs> well, he made eye contact. You uh, uh, shouldn't make fun of AIDS jokes and premature, you know, especially poor Dave has a gray in his beard. Yeah, yeah really, honestly. Kind of creepy. Um, past my meds. But uh, no, I thought that was good. But the Magic Johnson thing, don't you think that's a little played out? I mean, honestly. Yeah, and a little tasteless. Am I right or wrong, Dave? Yeah, I mean, not, honestly. Let's I, not tasteless. go there. I brought my whole family to see your show. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. We don't appreciate that Something type. should only be said through my a puppet. My bad, guys. It's true. <laughs> Some things only the puppet should say. You know, he's more <laughs> randy. And... <laughs> How about another one, though? You're a joke writer, which in this world of comedy. Can I say one thing? The fact that the guy's even writing jokes is pretty impressive because nobody, everybody's like, I'm just going to go up there and say what I feel. And it's always boring and dumb. So the fact that you're writing yeah. Actual jokes is very cool. If you so. want to call the AIDS a, a virus a joke, I mean, I oh, consider that geez. to be humorous. <laughs> Somebody get a Jim a green tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hear one more. Let's hear one more. Hey, this on. time, don't do not do the pause. Yeah, yeah. I do this only, instead. <clears throat> you only see prepare if we three? can plow yeah. through. Yeah. Stomp the yard, as they used to say. Just, right. All you got is three. Huh? That's it. Can that's you? all I got. Oh, come on. Ah, well, now rip on the got. crowd. He's leaving you wanting more, come guys. Come on. He's got nothing. Something else. Come on. You're two jokes away from headlining. Do it. <laughs> you're four jokes away from America's um, Funniest Home Video. You want to do some of your rapper stuff? Do you remember any of that stuff? Oh, you uh, you're not going to wig out up here, are you? Do the baseball joke. No, I'm just joke. blinking. Do okay. the baseball joke. I'm looking joke. for a guy right. from my joke. white power yeah. tour. Yeah. Right. He's got the a baseball joke. You guys, this is a good one. All right, so right, how do you guys... Why don't you open with, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when did Eddie good. Vedder yeah. <laughs> start so telling jokes? The, uh, L.A. Dodgers filed for bankruptcy, right? Yes, Dodgers yes. file bankruptcy. Yes. Yes. Stop, it, stop so. asking the audience if they know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. That really is going to be Because you know okay. what they're going to say? They're going to go, You suck! That's what they're going to say. <laughs> yeah. well, here's I learned the t- that the hard way. You have to address them and go, By the way, scumbags, the Dodgers yeah. have filed for bankruptcy. All right. yeah. By the way, scumbags, the Dodgers <laughs> have filed for bankruptcy. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, the, the most important reason that you know that your team has filed for bankruptcy is the vendor yells out, popcorn, peanuts, baseball franchise. You know, these are... Are you preparing for jokes or whispers after a night of lovemaking to the head of the IMF? Honestly. I don't know what they're teaching in the school system here, but... uh, Get out of here, Nick. I'm not going to put you through this. Get out of here. Don't you have anything like more risk? Wait, Jim, we need someone to warm up before you come out tonight, right? Yes. Yeah, Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, you go up there and do a few minutes. Yeah. A few minutes. Oh, he's one. got it those four. That's it. That's, That's our jokes. With those, with those well, some, I've got to retool those jokes today. I know. Yeah. It takes him three minutes to tell a joke. Yeah. So <laughs> That's right. Those three, he can do a nice, <laughs> about ten minutes. We're just joking. Oh, don't leave the room. room. Get back in here. Get back. Where you Coward. going? Coward. Stick with it. Girl. <laughs> the BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.